All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to the Alex Parker Road to the Show Series here on the 22PS5 episode 185. Y'all know what time it is. It is game five time against the Toronto Blue Jays. If we win this, we will move on to the ALCS, but we have to go through a huge hurdle in this one. We are facing off against the best pitcher in baseball. It's Max Hamilton Day for the Jays. He is disgusting. I mean... He beat us in the first game. We actually got some hits off of him. Alex went deep against him. Um, I feel decent about our chances of getting something going on offense. Um, but the main thing is we need Giolito to step up right now and pitch his best ball. He has not been an ace this whole year, and we need him to step up and be that guy right now. Since 2018, Giolito's been a great starter. And since 2024, he's been our guy to go to. But we need him today to be that guy to send us to the ALCS. We're hitting leadoff. The lineup of ours is on the right. Theirs is on the left. Let's get into this. We're going to wear... Yeah, red. Definitely red. Alex has had a great, and I mean a great, series so far in the ALDS. Hitting homers in all four games. Making sure his team stays in the ball game. And we are here, ready to go. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Los Angeles Angels. John Shambi with you alongside Chris Singleton. And as we get set for game five, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Yeah, Boo, the only negative here today is that the series is going to come to an end, as fun as it's been. I wish it could go on a few more games. And the way these teams have battled each other and with some of the amazing moments we've seen in getting to this point, I think we're in for a great one here in game five. Hard to imagine it won't be a classic, Ziggy. I'm ready to see what surprises are waiting for us. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started. All right. Gio's going to start us off. What do you look for here? Hamilton on the mound for Toronto. If y'all don't know who Max Hamilton is, he is not a real player. He is, um, if you've been with the channel for a while, oh no, goodness, what's the runner up? It's Mondesi. We just got to eat the run. Shoot. If you don't know who Max Hamilton is, he is, um, a pitcher series we did a while ago. Parker handles the chance. Zips it to one down. Toronto goes up one nothing. And we imported him, just made his character again, put him on his most prominent team, the Jays. Good cut from Alex, timed it well, didn't hit it. A one. You're going to get some of that stuff from Max, that uh, very high K per nine, swings and misses are common. O2. And wow, we timed three, two of the three. We fouled one off. We don't come through. We leave 4-1. Who's done it? Who did it? Who did it? Who put us up 4-1? Jorge Alfaro with two RBIs. Meadows with two RBIs. And Giolito got through that first. He's gotten through the second. And we lead 4-1. Let's go, baby. See if Alex can come through here. That ball smoked. It's going to get down. It's going to one-hop the wall. They're going to send one home. They're going to send both home. Throws wild. It's going to score two. It's 6-1 LA. Alex Parker comes through again. Shoots it into left. And Max Hamilton has been lit up today. And they're immediately going to go to the bullpen. It's going to be Adam Kloffenstein. Max Hamilton with only one full inning pitch. And the Angels take a 6-1 lead. Let's freaking go. We need Geo to calm down and get us through about six solid here. That's best case. That one's going to be popped to Groshans. I'd love if Alex could come home to score here. Mike Trout is on deck. So up next, 
He's had a decent little run here in the ALTS. Alex Parker coming through again, baby. That's deep right. It's going to be caught. Alex is going to move up to third. Man, I just, I just want to play. Now it's Austin Meadows. I just really want to play in the um at the belt fires. In the ALCS. So bad. That's off Flatty's glove. He's gonna knock it down though. Kloffenstein does a good job getting three outs in a row. But the Jays give up six. It's six to one. Let's hold this thing, Geo. Yes, sir. Still six to one. What a series. It has been. We are out in front of that fastball, and we just roll it over to Vladdy. Two down. Top of the fifth. Geo's already got an out. This is what I'm talking about. Ace-type stuff, Lucas. On the ground. It's played by Alex. He sets his feet. He fires over to first, and he got him by a step. Two down. Let's go, baby. Come on. I'm hype. For all the frustration that's gone on in this series, this has been the best time by far. And we got one, they got one. It's 7-2. to two. Feeling good, one on, one out. Maybe we can gap one here, score another. Disgusting changeup. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground. And we get screwed on a call there. 2 Kloffenstein has pitched well. And he sends us a changeup. Come on. Well outside. 1-2. Right-handed reliever. We barely got to that one. Great pitch. He's got a good cur or a good changeup. Drops to that 82 miles per hour level. That's way inside. Two two. Pick off. Taren Vavor can run a bit. No, we did not, and Favre took second. Wild throw, Kirk! Favre's going to take third. Oh, my goodness. The Blue Jays are breaking down. And now you've got a guy who rarely strikes out with a runner on third. No, one out. He shot it on the air at the second baseman. That is so unfortunate. And we do not score that run. That's tough. It's all right, though. We're good. Popped up. I'm on it. 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 I've got it. Sorry, bright guy. I trust you, too, but I felt like I had that one. Geo doing some ace stuff today in the biggest game of the year. Firing across the diamond, two down any second now. I think we're going to get one more bat. No, we are not. It is eight to two, though. We put up one more. Hansel Robles is the pitcher. Miguel Geraldo on the ground. That's going to be one. Vav returns. Did not get him one down, though. They put another one on. Still one down here. Robles pitch to the nine hole. Jordan Groshans. It's hit weekly. We'll just go one here. Make sure to get the out. Two down. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's going to be Parker again here. Two down. Robles the pitch to Mondesi. He hits one on the ground. Parker's got it. He makes the throw. Ball game over. And the Angels are going to the ALCS. Let's go. Alex Parker's first time in his career. In the playoffs, really not a true wild, 
wild cards don't count, but he has won the ALDS and he's heading to the championship series. This is for Mike Trout. This is for all of Angels Nation. Like, truly no success in so long. And finally, the Angels are heading to the championship series. And they had to overcome a lot to get here. Wow, that was a pretty short cinematic. But we got to Max Hamilton, the best pitcher in baseball, and we made it happen. Parker was only one for four, but timely hitting for the Angels came through. Two RBIs for him, another two for Meadows, two for Alfaro, a RBI for Barefoot. Vavra had one. Parker, well, yeah, we already talked about Parker. Matthew Barefoot's got five RBIs in the series, only hitting 217, but timely hitting, man. It is such a huge deal. Alfaro was only one for four. Homer, Meadows, one for four, double. Just beautiful work from the Angels. Giolito throws eight strong innings of two-run ball. Love to see that. Hansel Robles with an inning pitched and uh, closed it out for us. Once again, we hit Max Hamilton. Max Kepler had that solo shot uh, later in the game. They, of course, grounded a Grounded out to Alex in the first inning to score one as well. Kirk made an error. We never ended up scoring that run. Uh, but Max struggled hard. The throwing him so much in the season and then kind of throwing him on some short rest after he threw about 100, 100 plus pitches, which is so strange that they would allow him to do that when it looked like they had that game. I know it came back close, but that wasn't on Max. Kloffenstein came in and actually pitched really well. Five innings of one-run ball. Barnes came in um, for an inning, did well. Maton gave up a run. But in the end, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim are going to advance to the ALCS, and we're going to see if we're going to face the, uh, the White Sox or the Athletics. I'm kind of hoping it's the White Sox. Let's freaking go when we're facing off against the athletics let's let's do this let's do this we play them game one here both teams went five strong so we're not going to see aces uh to start the series we're going to see both teams two guy and uh over in the nl it's atlanta versus the dodgers uh and the dodgers took game one Let's get a little preview of just what this A's team looks like. They are so good. I mean, so good. Their rotation is really, really strong. They've got four guys who they love to go to. Chance Davis, of course, is the best, like one of the best pitchers in the league. Uh, Tyler Molly, uh, 82 overall. He's had a decent year. Kopech, great stuff. Caprillion as well. They're Bullpen is a little bit on the weaker side. They do have Jose Suarez, who they acquired from us, actually. Um, and he is he's very solid. He's a tough one to get through uh, in those ninth innings. But hopefully we don't have to see him that much. But we're definitely going to see the starting pitching, which is super solid for him. And when it comes to their lineup, it's not weak by any means. It's very strong. They've got this young kid, Diego Nieve, who is really come out this these last couple years and proved to be a solid solid shortstop for them he steals a ton of bags uh, he plays a decent shortstop doesn't have the best glove uh, Harold Ramirez who played for us at one point um, last year actually was really bad for us as of course played well for the athletics Juan Soto man this dude is incredible he was chasing us for MVP the whole year, never quite made it, but he was a huge signing for them, and they're going to be paying him till 2032. Matt Chapman, uh, the four-hole. Reese Hoskins, Big Bat, Lazaro Armenteros um, has been disgustingly good for them in terms of like a good power bat at the bottom of their lineup. Nick Senzel, great in the field, utility man. Francisco Mejia slash CJ Rodriguez, one fielding, um, the other, you know, better hitter. And then Max Muncy, not the Max Muncy uh, we all know, but the Max Muncy that's in the A's farm system right now. He is a pretty solid second baseman. Uh, he gets it. He, he has a good glove, I'm pretty sure. That's kind of his thing. Not a great war, um, and he hasn't really performed that well in his career. But they love this guy. They play him every year for about the whole year, so... 
that's where they're at um, with that. They also have Robert Poisson to back him up um, if ever needed. This dude is a great shortstop. Diego Nieves right there um, at the time. And they also have Logan Davidson, uh, the switch hitting field first shortstop. But... They should deal one of these guys soon. I'm sure they will over the off season, uh, and get a good piece back because those guys need a chance to really shine. Um, and I don't think that they're really giving them that, you know, in this case. Uh, but they're here to win a ring, and so are we. We've got a f seven game series against Oakland. We have home game home field advantage. We beat them in the division this year. Um, so we will open up two at home, three on the road, and then two back at home. Hopefully we can get back to those two back at home. Or maybe just end it in Oakland. Let's sweep them. Who knows? Uh, but if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. An electric episode. Absolutely awesome. That's Alex Parker, episode 185 in the books.